All of us are harmed, but not all of us are treated as though we are harmed. Not all of us are provided access to resources in which we need to heal. Hello everyone, welcome to my spoken word piece for my Carceral Feminisms, Race, Gender, and State Violence course. I chose a quote from the podcast that was assigned for today's class because I felt that the podcast was material from the course that I could take away and apply outside the class. The podcast includes activists and authors who discuss the opportunities and drawbacks in the search for justice for victims during the Me Too movement. Speakers in this podcast include Aaron Cloud, Miriam Kaba, Victoria Law, Denise Tomasini, Joshi, and Asha Bendeli. Asha Bendeli is a writer who has examined the 70s feminist movement as well as the war on drugs movement and discusses how these movements impact women of color. Bendeli discusses how historically black women and women of color have been treated differently in society. The law does not work towards helping women of color and women have yet to be lifted up in movements or have their voices heard in the broader context of society. Bindeli mentions the Me Too movement and how all of us can be harmed but not all of us are treated as though we are harmed. Not all of us are provided access to resources in which we need to heal and therefore the current resources given will not help women who have suffered physical or sexual violence. Bindeli is concerned about the Me Too movement and suggests that leaders of part of the movement take a step back and fully review women's history in order to understand the conversations from all perspectives. People of color are disproportionately arrested, criminalized, and incarcerated within the prison system. Majority of people in women's prisons have experienced sexual abuse and or family violence or domestic violence before they're arrested. I find this disappointing because it demonstrates how the criminal justice system failed to help these individuals even before they enter the system. Individuals have continuously reported sexual harassment, misconduct, and abuse. However, their voices are not being heard. Denise Tomasini Joshi mentions that it is important for activists, lawyers, organizers, writers, and civil rights leaders to also be feminists, to truly understand the issues between women of color and society. We must understand that the prison and state systems are not feminists and do not support black women and girls. Thank you for listening.